work out for Weimert nonetheless. He needed, he needed to get one. Vanamede pounds it to third. Rozier up with it. Fires across the diamond, and it can't get scooped up in time. Unable to handle it was Debrecht. A run scores. Brother drives in brother. It's one nothing Rice on the RBI ground out to Vanamede. We'll see how they score that. They yeah, will would, scored an error. Yeah, I think that's probably an error at third. Um, not an easy play, kind of a hop that he had to leap a little bit for, but enough time to make a good, strong throw and get him by, by plenty. Good pop in this bat for Tristan Crane. Four home runs, 28 RBIs, and that one's driven high and deep to left, and Splash City. That one's out of here. That's a grand salami. Five nothing, Brother Rice on the grand slam from Tristan Crane. You know, Chad, we mentioned the wind. That one had nothing to do with anything. That was a bullet. It was a riser. He really got all of that. Uh, I think you knew right off the bat now that that was a, a four-run home run, also known as a grand slam. Another look here, and that was a no doubter. You said it. Wind, no wind, 18-foot wall. The fan of the players leave the field early. That one's driven high and deep. Cash on the run, looking up, and that ball is long gone. A three-run shot from Slavko that nobody saw coming but the Northwood folks in Midland. Five to three on a Slavko three-run shot. Dead center, power out of the eight hole, the second baseman, Slavko. What looked like an early runaway 5-0, suddenly a 5-3 game. Small mistakes in baseball can come back to haunt you. A strikeout that should be an out, ball gets away from the catcher. Watch the guy at the plate, and you're confused when they talk about him as a PO, a pitcher only. And, and you see it right there again. Fly ball to right, that's going to find the gap. Turner's going to score from second. Lee is up with it, but it's another double for Vanamy. He had two yesterday. He has another RBI today, and uh, the Warriors now doubling up De La Salle, six to three. And this kid is white hot. And that's that's one thing that Riker talked about before the game is just Chase Vanamede's ability to use the whole field. That one's driven high and deep to left. Going back is JJ looking up, and that is long gone. His second home run of the year. Broder Katke, a three-run shot, and it's now nine to three. Tristan Crane with that shot, my bad. Tristan's done it this time. His fifth of the year and his second home run of the day. Second home run in two innings, so we're looking at four RBIs in the first, three in the second. Seven RBIs through one and a half innings of play. These. I don't know what the final uh, numbers are going to look like for Crane, but off to just about as perfect of a start. And your heart goes out to Weimert a little bit. Obviously, he's been tagged a little bit, but hasn't had too much help. Wyatt Rupenthal hits one to center. Funky bounce. Into score comes Fox. It'll be a double and another extra base hit for Brother Rice. We'll see if they might score it a single with an error, but I don't know if that was touched. I think that was a pitching wedge yeah. with some funky uh, backspin to it. I think that was some bad English. Yeah, I'm not sure you could put that one. It looked like the ball's heading right, and then the bounce went left, so I don't I don't put that too much on uh, the center fielder. Uh, Here's Max Orozco. And Max grounds one through the whole left side. They're going to wave Rupenthal home. Wagner up with it, and he won't have a chance. It's RBI number 17 on the year for Max. And the train keeps a rolling. It's now 11-3, to Brother Rice. And they're amongst a six-run second inning. I really like watching a Roscoe hit. He's sort of the perfect nine-hole hitter. Left-handed, very tough to strike out. Hits almost 300 in the game, and you're just... You see guys at the major league level, they'll take their whole batting practice and try and put every ball the opposite way. That's what Freddie Freeman will do. So I, I think that's the way that you keep your swing the healthiest. There's a fly ball to center. This is deep. Going back is JJ, and that one is gone. 
Home run by the left-handed future Chippewa. Ryan Taransky is fourth of the year. And uh, it's now 13 to three on the two run shot from Taransky. Three run shot, pardon me, it's now 14 to three. And you just assume that there's a couple guys on for most of these at bats. There's just been a tremendous amount of traffic and another home run for Brother Rice. The scoreboard is lit up. They got nine here in the second frame and looks like that'll probably close the book for Weimer. Would have been nice. There's a lefty drive. Taransky to left and out of here. Over that 18 foot wall. Taransky's done it again. The future Chippewa chops away at a couple more. And the lead is bumped up to 16 to 3. Going Oppo Taco. Yeah, R Wrigley Field North here in uh, Warrior Country. Any ball that's up in the air has a very good chance of going out. I'm not sure that Taransky thought that was a home now run off the bat, but there's two runs nonetheless. Lastly, tick up. He's going to be a handful in the years to come. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper, tough play. Orozco will have to hustle, and it gets up the middle and into center field. And into score comes Vito Zito, and it's now 16-4 on the RBI single by the senior, Rhett Rozier. Yeah, that ball had eyes. Just kind of snaked through the middle of the infield. Second and short, couldn't quite decide who's, who was going to take that ball. Yeah, it's kind of you take it, I take it. Nobody got it. And